Mahesa, Tanzania. It's hard to believe such green and fertile land was once a desert. This area of northern Tanzania doesn't receive enough rainfall for plants to flourish. Past farmers constructed a complicated irrigation system made up of a dam and canals to supplement the community's many family farms. Unfortunately, this system was destroyed after a 1998 flood. Ironically, too much water at once ruined their ability to keep their crops hydrated throughout the growing seasons. The community reeled from this loss, and it culminated with a serious 2006 drought. CWS was alerted of the crisis by an appeal from the Christian Council of Tanzania submitted to the ACT Alliance, of which CWS is a coalition member. CWS Africa Emergency Response provided aid to Mahesa through this devastating drought and afterwards met with community members to help the town become sustainable for the future. The citizens informed CWS that since the irrigation system was beyond their repair and they could not grow enough fruits and vegetables, they had begun deforesting their community to produce charcoal to sell to neighboring towns. Sadly, this practice was further dehydrating the area and not adequately supporting the people's livelihood. The CWS Africa Food Security Program decided to help repair the irrigation system with the help of partners including the Evangelical Lutheran Church in Tanzania, Pari Diocese, and the Tanzanian government. Completed in 2010, the renovated dam has a capacity to provide enough water for domestic use and irrigated livelihood activities for 860 households with a total population of about 6,000. It provides water for 360 acres worked by 460 farmers, among them 220 men and 240 women. With the restored irrigation system, crop yields have increased significantly. Helping people many things, including school children fees. Na maisha kujenga. Building of how, a modern house or more good house. Wanashiba yeah. wanakuwa na afya. They eat a lot of food. Mano and they have very good health. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You had mentioned that there's still in your brief that there's still conflict among the farmers when there's not enough water. Oh. What what would be a way? To help with the that. conflict the... becomes very not very bad, They're not a conflict as such. It is the struggling to get water because yeah, during yeah. December, a short rain season, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of people increased the land, cultivated the land. There is a paddy land and the uh, cereal crops land, mm -hmm. maize. And the, so okay. When they they plant paddy at the same time they plant, plant maize. Mm -hmm. The water is needed in large quantity. Mm -hmm. So the, the frequency of a farmer to obtain water becomes very minimized. Uh -huh. minimized. Sure. So they just try to do what we call a struggling competition. Mm -hmm. So conflict, small conflicts occurs, mm -hmm. minor, minor conflicts. Like I need water today. They go at night, mm. they try to force and struggle, but they don't hurt each other. They don't even struggle to, to hurt each other. No. This is why we said that every farmer should have one, half to one acre enterprise, mm -hmm. for each enterprise. Mm -hmm. But if you have more than two acres in every enterprise, mm -hmm. there will be difficulty to get enough water at the, mm -hmm. as you require, as you need. Wenceslas Sharima is an agricultural specialist employed by the United Republic of Tanzania at the request of CWS Africa to live and work with the farmers of Mahesa. His appointment is just one of many instances CWS has spearheaded government collaboration. The government even donated the schematics for the reconstruction of the dam. So when they need water, you come here and you try to open. Mm -hmm. Water will go to the field. And when the water is not needed, it just see uh, cut the water and continue to go with the, the, the river. Is this water only for irrigation or is it for drinking or use in the home? In, uh, in, in, uh, in the home, they use this water for 
for washing the domestic for, utensils uh -huh. and uh, for uh, livestock, mm -hmm. for building activities. Okay. For drinking water is another system. Oh. Another system which is not uh, connected from the above, more, more than higher. Uh, higher, higher areas. Okay. Yeah. So they don't drink this one. <coughs> okay. Yeah. For irrigation only. Okay. Let me ask you some questions. Are the farmers getting water for irrigation free or they are paying some money? Uh, it is free, but they for pay the something for, they pay some amount mm -hmm. for the infrastructure maintenance. Mm -hmm. When the somewhere breaking, they use the, the, the money to buy cement to rehabilitate the broken mm -hmm. area. Mm -hmm. They are going to open their bank account to preserve the money mm -hmm. so as to use it at maintenance and operation for the preservation of water. Mm -hmm. The system is connected by 3,280 feet of channels made up of an irrigation canal and 10 distribution canals. Stone plates and mud are used to block locks located on the canals lining each individual farm. These plugs are removed to allow water to spew from the canal onto the farm. Farmers dig small channels from the lock at the canal to their farmland to quickly and thoroughly spread water during the limited amount of irrigation time they are allocated. The community is now able to store surplus produce to strengthen its resilience to withstand future environmental disasters. Other excess crops, including corn, beans, and onions, are sold at the market. This entrepreneurship is a win-win for Mahesa. It provides much-needed income for the farmers and nourishes neighbors with healthy fruits and vegetables. This is Napoli Wayoto, one of the 460 Mahazen farmers. She has four children and farms this one acre field for her family. After the 1998 flood, she was only able to harvest 200 pounds of corn or less each growing season. Now she is able to harvest 2,000 pounds. She nutritiously feeds her family and sells excess produce at the market to pay for her children to go to school. It is even more important for communities to strive for sustainability now that the climate is changing. These environmental effects take a variety of forms, including both severe droughts and floods, and Tanzania is projected to bear the brunt. Oxfam reported in 2011 that drought-related shocks used to occur every 10 years, and they are now occurring every five years or less. Additionally, a 2012 World Bank study projected that climate change has the potential to decrease the total corn yield in Mahesa's district by over 15% by the year 2041. Like so many other CWS projects, work did not end with a single infrastructural improvement. Deforestation has been curtailed by the collapse of the now unnecessary charcoal industry and the implementation of CWS-sponsored tree nurseries and seedling distribution. In addition to the forestation initiatives, CWS Africa distributed 35 dairy goats and 50 roosters. The dairy goats have reproduced to now number 73, and the roosters have sired 2,362 chicks. The milk from the goats and the eggs from the chickens have provided much-needed protein sources to the community. The people of Mahesa even started a cooperative in 2012 called Mahesa Farmers Federation to more efficiently organize community resources in five program areas, agriculture, livestock, poultry, environment, and marketing. A sixth program area, nutrition, is due to be launched soon. An advisory board comprised of representatives from partners and members of the community directs the Mahesa Farmers Federation. It also helps organize important training events with partners, including the Tanzanian government.
Not too long ago, Mahesa was reliant on aid from various governmental and non-governmental organizations. Due to the cumulative assistance of CWS and its partners, the resilient people of Mahesa are now self-sufficient and better prepared to independently pass Mother Nature's next tests.